In Learning Objective 2, we're going to do scenario analysis. How do we know we're doing scenario analysis? First of all, you'll see three cases pop up, best case, base case, and worst case, and you'll know that you're doing scenario analysis. Uh, again, we can do income statements, balance sheets, cash flows, um, and, and use some of the techniques we developed in Session 9, NPV, IR, R, A, A, R, and so on. So scenario analysis you'll find is a very popular method for evaluating a large capital investment projects types of what-if analyses, one of which is a scenario analysis. Uh, scenario analysis determines what happens to our MPV when we start asking what if. What if on uh, volume, what if on price, what if on cost, both uh, variable and fixed. So we tend to create three cases, a base case, a best case, and a worst case. Anything more than that, you could be getting into what we call analysis paralysis. So be careful if um, one of your uh, supervisors has you doing so many analyses that you just spend your time doing analysis and not making any decisions. Uh, best case, we have low value for cost and high values for price and quantity. And in the worst case, we have high values for costs, both fixed and variable and low values for price and quantity. So again, and then somewhere in the middle of those two scenarios is what you think is your most reasonable or base case. If we have a positive MPV, as we said in session nine, we proceed with the project. If we have a negative MPV, we halt the project right at that point. And to go and change the numbers at that point is dangerous, as I mentioned. And again, don't do too many scenarios. Uh, you can get into analysis paralysis. Scenario analysis can tell us uh, what can happen and how to gauge potential for disaster. It will not tell you whether or not to take the project. That is a decision you have to make for yourself. Second type of analysis, what if analysis we might do is sensitivity analysis. You may have had this in econ class. Uh, it looks at what happens to MPV when only one variable is changed and everything else is held constant. So we might change volume and we, uh, or, uh, yeah, we change volume and we keep price and uh, cost constant. And when we have a highly sensitive MPV um, to, let's say, unit sales, you'll see a very steep MPV versus unit sales curve, as you see here. The steeper the line, the greater the sensitivity uh, of the MPV to changes in the projected sales volume. So again, you can plot these uh, things and hold. So you're holding everything constant except one variable in sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis will uh, tell us which variables need a lot of attention. Most times it's sales volume. That's the one you will vary most times and, and uh, keep the others constant when you're doing sensitivity analysis. And uh, if the MPV is sensitive um, to certain variables like sales volume, again, it will not tell you whether or not to take the project or not. The third type of analysis, what if analysis, we might look at a simulation analysis, which is a combination of scenario and sensitivity, uh, where we take the best case, worst case, and base case and uh, do a sensitivity analysis in combination with that, in essence, vary everything. And with the uh, advent of uh, personal computers, laptops, netbooks, we can do these analyses very, very quickly. Whereas, uh, let's say back in the 1980s, you do these things mostly by hand, and it would be difficult and challenging. Now you can spin these out in, in uh, a few minutes, basically, and you can reuse that software over and over and over again. So you pick random variable, pick random values for every variable, calculate the MPV, repeat several times, and you might have thousands and thousands of MPVs. You might calculate the average, the mean, the mode, the median, do lots of statistics on the MPVs, um, and come up with many, many, many scenarios, many possibilities. Again, simulation cannot tell us what to do with the results, whether or not to take the project. That really depends on uh, your decision making.